Okay, I'm working on Mr. Pineapple, and uh, this color is basically yellow, and uh, I'm going to add a little bit of brown to it so it makes it more of a golden brownish yellow. And then I take that color and I add a little red to it, just a tiny bit. That makes it more of a kind of a burnt orange color, and that's the color I use for the shadow. And I usually do the the features first before I start drawing all the you know the shapes of the pineapple okay and then I put some shadows underneath the leaves up high and then I just start kind of coming down here breaking up the pineapple defining it I'm doing it vertically first and it doesn't have to be perfect you know you're just suggesting it and then I go horizontally like this kind of give it that pineapple look like so and I just leave all this part in the middle like that and then I'll come back and highlight with I'll take this uh, golden color and add some white to it and do some highlights next I'm gonna do his tongue okay so I took some of that color this golden yellow color and I added a little bit of white to it and a little bit of yellow so I have like a kind of almost a butter yellow and I'm going to use that for the highlight Take the roller down, lay in some green. Okay, I'm working on my, uh, my two little kids here, and uh, there's kind of a shadow, so it kind of freaks out the, the picture a little, breaks it up. But anyway, I used uh, I used this black. So I think it's called peppercorn black, but uh, I use this sometimes instead of cell vinyl because it's less expensive, and uh, but it takes two coats. So I've had that coat dry. So now I'm going to take it and do the second coat of black. I just do the first coat really thin and light. I don't worry about it covering because you can see when I do the second coat, it does cover. I don't know if you can see it that good. The lighting's kind of kind of weird, but so anyway, I just go in and slosh in the second coat. Works pretty good. 
then I'll come back and do my typical uh, my highlights uh, with the blue. All right, I got my uh, all the color in my uh, characters, my boy and girl, and uh, the highlights and the shadows and stuff. And then I'm going to outline it. And then after I outline it, I'm going to go ahead and do the highlights and shadows on the water. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is work on this side. I'm going to work on this tiki character. I've got the two coats of the base color brown. And then do the trees, the cloud, the volcano, fill that in. I think I'm going to use purple on him so he stands out. And then I'll put in the colors on the dolphin. So let's get all these colors going. Okay, I took some of this brown color, added a little bit of black to it, and then I just kind of go for it. I do a thick line up here. This is like the part that is underneath, like the shadow underneath the top part. And then I do this on the bottom, bring this down just start laying it out. I actually use the brown and I outline with it. I put a thick line on this side and a more thin line over on this side like so. And uh, just go around and outline. I turn the two inch foam sideways. So now here I can kind of see the, the picture underneath. I remember this is the center line. And then I just started, you probably can't see it in the camera, but I can see underneath the character. Underneath the nose, you want a, you want a thicker, a thicker line. And then uh, this is his mouth. And then the eyes, like so. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and paint a lighter color in here, and highlights and shadows and all that stuff. And you can add all these little details by turning the brush sideways. Just kind of make it up. I like to make a big mouth, a big smiling mouth. And then here, you can either do like a triangle shape or a round, a round shape. I think I'm going to do a round shape. It's making it look like a tiki. Maybe on top I'll do a triangle and mix it up. Okay. There's the brown. I'm going to run over here and get me some of the, the lighter color. Just a second. Hold on, I'm getting it. Okay, I got my... Uh, it's kind of a mustard brown or mustard yellow color. And uh, I'm going to paint this part in completely. Just fill it in and then I'll add some I'll add some pupils to make him more anthropomorphic.
shapes like this for the teeth. And that kind of kind of indicates a gum line there. It's like I said, I do want to make them look more anthropomorphic, like a, a real live character. It's looking pretty jolly. <laughs> This I kind of grab at the top, it almost makes a triangular shape. I come in and do these highlights. Some highlights up here. some brown eyes. I may not even do any black on this. He looks pretty good just like that. I may not have to outline it. Let me uh, let me go grab the brown really quick. So here's the dark brown. You can give him some eyeballs. Like so. So there's your Mr. Freaky Tiki. Woohoo! <laughs> always have to ruin it by being weird. <laughs>
they really stand out. I guess one reason is yellow and purple are opposites on the color wheel. So it makes it more visually dynamic. This is kind of a first for me doing a volcano smiling instead of you know blowing his top, even though he is blowing his top. This color is covering really well, so I probably will not need a second coat. And it's going on fast. Yeah, it's covering nice. Sometimes when paint has a lot of white in it, it'll cover like this really good. inch foam brushes. Kick ass! <laughs> okay, we got that part of the volcano done. So this is my uh, $1.50 uh, quart mist tent I got from Sherwin-Williams. And uh, I'm gonna dump a little bit of it in this tray of blue because I'm done with this tray, I'm not using it anymore. So, I just want to change the tone a little, give it more of a blue feel. I'm going to add a little bit more gray. Alright. So I got my uh, bluish gray here mixed up. And then I just, I do the, I do the tail add a little blue to it. So that's that on the, that color. Okay, the next step is I'm going to take my dark purple and lay in some of the shadows on the volcano. Start defining it. So on this side I'm going to do a pretty thick line. Oh, I got to get a different brush. This is the other brush that had the light color in it, the light purple. And then I put a little shadow underneath the lava, which is kind of weird because in real life the lava is light, but cartoon world it's fine. So before I start doing too many of the details on the volcano, I want to define his face. And then on the bottom of his, uh, this could be like his chin, you can just bring it down all the way. And then you kind of just daub it, you know, you do pick up the, the brush and push it back down some definition. And along the bottom you kind of go like this. Like a shadow. A little bit of shadow underneath his nose too. All 
All right. Next I have my light teal color. This is the splashy color and then I add white to it to lighten it up. And uh, it's gonna be the shadow on the, on the white, the bottom of the dolphin. Put a little shadow underneath is one of his fins, and then this here. And then let's go down here really quickly, and I'll set up the camera and show you. And you've probably seen this a million times if you've watched my videos. Do the shadow on the cloud next. And this is just kind of following along the bottom, like so. We leave this part because that's reflected light off the earth. Get a little bit of definition here. That cloud is finished. Trim this up a little. Cloud is done. Okay, so I got me some light gray, light bluish gray. Come in and do the highlights on top of the gray. back at the volcano and I'm going to use the light teal, the same light teal I used on the shadow for the dolphin and the cloud, I'm going to use for the highlight on the volcano. You can use more of a, a violet color, but this works fine, or, or you know, a light purple. Like you can take this color and add white to it, but I think this really looks cool with the, using the teal on this. And around the bottom of the mouth, you can make it a little bit wider because that's where more of the light's going to be coming down, hitting it. And then his nose. Okay, next I'll work on the lava. Now we have a medium orange, just a standard orange. And you come in here and kind of indicate like flames by pulling it down. Like so. Then the lava, it has a little bit of a shadow underneath it, like so. Right here, this is going to be the top lip, so you kind of do a shape like that and you bring the lines past it to indicate, you know, give it some depth, some shape. And then this is the, the rock shooting out, the lava rock. Next I'll just do the white highlight. And then over here, a little bit of a line of orange and a little split it right here. You might want to use smaller brushes. I'm used to using the foam, so. Now I come back with the white and just kind of daub it like so. There's going to be a lot of black here too. And then this you kind of grab the end of the foam and just just got to practice with it. Do some highlights. And then here, you can go like this, sort of like 
blend this white off into the, and you want the white to come all the way down. It's like the center of the, the lava bursting out. You can do a little highlight here and do a little highlight there too. Cool. The palm trees are super easy. You just take it on in, bring it out like that, make all your branches. And then you can kind of come sideways like that, go like this, it's very quick. back and add more details if you want to put like a dark dark green and a light green which I'll show you in a minute after that dries so I've got my dark green here same kind of deal just come down and daub it like so gives it a little definition and also, you can, uh, here, let me get more of the green, the dark green. Yeah. You can take it like this, too. And you might, like, do something over here. Quick and easy, just gives it more for life. Don't have to worry about the white behind it, because this green's got a lot of colors in it a lot of white and uh, this is such a dark green we add a little bit here too and then come back with a, a lighter green I'm over here mixing up some making a lighter green highlight I could put so I'm taking some yellow, making like a lime green, then I can come back over here really quickly just to find these branches. I mean, it takes seconds. It's really not a big deal. And then I'm going to add a little more yellow to that green because I want to want the highlights on this one to be really bright. So trees and stuff are pretty quick. So next I'm going to take a little bit darker brown and I'm going to do kind of a, a little shadow. And some, actually that looks looks like a lighter brown. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Take a darker brown. And it'll darken up even more too. And then same over here. Like some shadows. trees I have a real dark brown. I'm going to come in and just put some little shapes to define it some more. Okay, I'm over here again at the volcano, and uh, now I'm doing the smoke. And uh, this brush, I have a little bit of uh, brown in it, which is fine. So the smoke isn't like super black, but it doesn't matter. You can you can use it totally black or 
give it a tinge of blue or I thought it'd be cool to make it a little bit of a tinge of brown and then I'm going to come in with the yellow and highlight it from the bottom if you've seen my other videos like the when I did all the dinosaurs on Lippman party supply you'll see me do a volcano there with the black and how I underline it then this is like smoke coming off I'm going to come over here and grab me some yellow. Use some underlights. This is the light of the lava shooting up or going up. Definitely gives it more form. Okay, the volcano is all set to do the black. Okay, I got all the colors done on the Hawaiian characters on the parking lot side. And uh, I've got the tiki here, the freaky tiki. I got the little beach with the palm trees and the little bit of bushes and the clouds and the seagulls. And then over here I got uh, Mr. Volcano. And then on the very end, the dolphin. So um, I'm going to let these dry and I'm going to go to the other side and go ahead and do the black on the other side because I didn't, I didn't uh, go through step by step all the colors on the, on the boy and the girl and the pineapple uh, completely. So I'm going to go back over there and do the black on those characters while this is drying. Then I'll come back here, I'm going to do the black outline on these. And then finally, I'll do the water. I'll do the highlight and the shadow on the water, which I do last. <laughs> 